Take the app sensors right here. <clears throat> Just gonna unplug it. And then you're gonna, it runs over here. You're gonna unplug this little nipple on the spider. Or unplug this, this. from the fitting nipple and then we're just going to run the this side this hose right there and we're going to mount this piece in place of this and then we're going to remount this map sensor assembly harness on these two <clears throat> and then we're going to run this into right, um, right here, where my middle finger's at. So, real simple. Go ahead and <laughs> so remember the longer end. I mean, you just orient it if you're going with this riffraff uh, setup. So, <clears throat> turn left <clears throat> to start it. Make sure you're in there. Okay. Well, let's take our clamp. <clears throat> I don't even know if that. Yeah, I'm just looking at other hose is quite a bit bigger, outer diameter, so the clamp isn't going to be needed. But you can put one on. We'll probably go ahead and install a small hose clamp. I'm not going to show that, but I'll do that outside the video but yeah i would i think that's a good idea and then we'll just take this yeah i don't think you're going to be able to reuse your original clamps because the, the outer diameter on that hose is uh, the clamps are too big. I, 
Yeah, so we're going to use these warm clamps. But we'll be able to tighten it down to a uh, spec for the diameter of the hose. I think these are called like tension clamps. I don't know the exact name. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, cause I mean, when you're pushing boost through these, uh, through this, you know, you don't want to worry about <clears throat> anything popping off. So, oh, that's, that's quite a way. <laughs> we'll see if, uh, Okay, so just a quick recap. We got our, both of our clamps on the hose. We're gonna find a third one. I forget the size. Uh, we got this side just coming around like that. And if you get if it's picking up on camera, hopefully, uh, just push the map sensor wire out the way so it doesn't touch this uh, the cold side of the charge pipe, um, cold pipe. And then I decided to run the hose in front of the uh, uh, dipstick and just come a, uh, have it come out right here yeah. instead of uh, just having it run on top or underneath. Because if I, I ran it underneath and it was still it was still pulling up and touching this, you know, it might be OK even if it touches, but just to be on the safe side. So that's pretty much it. So for the seven threes. You do want to have this for optimal performance and maintaining, you know, your proper air to fuel ratios on your lower boost levels, you know, because by, you know, if you try to bypass this over boost code, which you're going to see as a check engine light, if you try to do that with a tuner, yeah, you will you can get it done, but you're going to have performance and issues and you're not going to be running at optimal efficiency due to the fact that you're messing with your uh, your lower boost end tables. So just, you know, refer to Casey Turbo's videos on this. They're the experts really on this matter. So um, they clear this up pretty well. And my recommendation is to go with a mechanical one. Like I said, it protects the map sensor because, um, I mean, it, essentially it locks the pressure reading from the intake to the map at uh, 22 PSI. You know, that's that's what it this one's rated for because that's what the PCM is, is designed to see at max. So, you know, however, you could keep building past 22, you know, into the 30s or whatnot. Um, and the PCM is going to be, my understanding, the PCM is going to be supplying the fuel that it thinks it needs for 22 PSI. Um, but because uh, that's the most it can read up to. However, this is where the, the tuning side of this comes in in conjunction with the fuller because injectors are going to run how the how they're tuned to run given there's adequate fuel and oil pressure so this is a this is definitely something you want to add to your truck for those running you know the aftermarket turbos like a stage two or you know and with tuning and stuff so i also wanted to point out you know for you could make your own you could go to the hardware store harbor freight whatever get your own pressure regulator but uh this one's really good quality also it's not they have it pre-adjusted um, it's not going to come undone from vibration or it's not going to loosen or whatnot, which have, you know, you can see issues with the patch. You're not going to have to sit here and tweak it or mess with it. Uh, it's preset. It's clean. You know, it's a clean install with the brackets. So that's why I went with Riff Raff because uh, they do make really good products and stuff. Um, so for seven threes, you do want to have this. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but for the six O's, six fours and six sevens, it's not needed because they're, 
uh, powertrain control module uh, is different than the 7.3s. 